Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. This is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And uh, aside from sharing lots of fun projects with you, I also love to share anything that I buy that helps me to be organized or store things in my craft room that just makes my crafting life easier. So that's what we're going to talk about today. This is one of my weekly live videos. If you're jumping in live, then it it, it should be, <laughs> well, it is, <laughs> Friday, December 30th at 11 a.m. Pacific time. But if you're watching a replay, that's great. Welcome as well. As you're joining me, feel free to say hello. I love to see who's joining. And if it's your first time, let us know that so that we can welcome you. And if you're watching a replay later on either Facebook, my blog, or my YouTube channel, and you have a question, could you use hashtag replay with your question? It helps me to find your questions and know that it was something that we didn't cover during the live. I'm just going to give, I think we're about one minute early still, so I'm just going to give everybody just a minute to find the live before we officially start, but I did want to let you know that we're talking about organizing tips today, and it's one of the things that I just love to do in my craft room is keep things in a, a, a way that helps me to be more productive in my crafting. And, you know, I kind of even broke one of my own rules this morning. I was putting away some retiring product and I found a stash of things that I had forgotten I had put them there, which means I didn't use them and now they're retired and I don't use retired products in my posts and my projects. So it means I kind of wasted them. So I broke my own rule. <laughs> But I try, I try. So let me just catch up just a little bit. I see Tammy, Nancy, Stacy, Sarah, Judy, Christine, Lisa, Kathy, Carol, Lori, Susan, Fonda, Rosemary, Beth, Deb, Debbie, Jeanne, Denise, Reed. Oh my gosh, there's so many people on. 93 already. Well, welcome everybody. So glad that you're here. Oh, thank you. Yes, we did have a really lovely Christmas. It was it was just the three of us, which is just perfect. I love it that way. My husband, my son, and I, and our son is here for the whole week. So I've just been really enjoying spending time with my husband and son and and just just doing just just nice, relaxing things. Nothing big time crunch or anything. So it's been really great. So thank you for asking. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Margaret is watching from, let's see, Kirawi? I probably didn't say that right. Sydney, Australia, and she said it's already Saturday there, so so it's already New Year's Eve there. That's kind of fun, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, Northern California and New Jersey, and yes, Happy New Year, Christine. Thank you. Oh, from France. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness, and Western New York. Oh, I hope you're staying. Oh, you said sunny and warm. Good. I, I hope you're not too cold there. So we're going to go ahead and get started today. Again, this is Patty Bennett. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have been a demonstrator for over 27 and a half years. Long time. And I love it. I love my job. I love creating and crafting and sharing with you, as well as supporting my team of about 400 demonstrators all across the U.S. and all my customers all over the U.S. So it's it's just been such a wonderful job to have for all these years. So part of my business then is keeping my craft room organized in such a way that helps me to be creative and hopefully not to lose things, hopefully to remember where I put them. And I know that you'll see lots of videos like this. I know these are some of your favorites because these organizing videos tend to get way more views than any of my crafting projects do, which... Hmm, wonder what that says about my crafting projects. Well, anyway, I'm glad that you like these. But where was I going with that? Anyway, oh, I know, I was going to say, you probably see lots of these organizing videos on YouTube, Facebook Lives, whatever. And there are some beautiful craft rooms that crafters have that are huge. They're um, super clean and like all white and pretty and nothing is out and everything is sleek and all of that. I'm kind of the opposite of that. You can see from all this around me, behind me, 
I like to have my products out. I need them kind of at my fingertips. I like to just grab and use. If I don't see the products, I don't end up using them and then it becomes a waste. Like if you tuned in right at the beginning, you heard me say that in the beginning that I just, uh, like half an hour ago, I found a stack of things that had retired with this past catalog and it was kind of uh, a bummer because I realized I didn't use them because I put them in a place that wasn't like the right place. So let's talk about these things. I posted this picture and I know the writing is backwards, but I posted this picture on my business Facebook page, oh, uh, what, like 10 days ago or so. It's from TJ Maxx, and it is the aisle that I discovered with all of these amazing crafting storage options. So let me tell you this funny story of finding this aisle. A few days before Christmas, my, or maybe it was a week before Christmas, my husband was here and we were out doing some errands and we went down to this um, local shopping center that it's pretty big. It has a Target and a market and lots of stores, a few restaurants. It's it's pretty big, but it gets really crowded at Christmas time. So we knew you go, you drive around the back of the buildings, kind of where the trucks go, the delivery trucks, and you park back behind there. So we did that. And then we were walking across in front of some stores that kind of normally we wouldn't maybe always walk in front of. One of them was TJ Maxx. But we walked by it to get to Staples. And we went to Staples. We got what we needed. And as we were walking back, my husband kind of does a double take. And he says, did you see those penguins? And if you know me, I'm all about penguins, right? Penguins are my deal. And I said, what, what? And I backed up and I looked and I said, Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Let's go in. We never go in TJ Maxx. It's just not a place we ever think to go. I'm kind of a Target girl. You'll find me in Target weekly, practically. <laughs> so anyway, we walk in and I see this completely adorable penguin. So he's a mug. And look, this is so cute. His little hat comes off and it's a lid. So if you wanted to keep your drink warm, you could. I am going to use him here in my craft room. He's probably going to hold my watercolor pencils. I think he's just adorable. And I was just like, oh, I really need this. And it was only, yeah, it's only $9.99. And I thought, I need this. So I sort of start to like move a step towards the checkout because I thought I saw a lady there and I thought she was in line to check out. So I start to get behind her and my husband looks up and he goes, uh, did you see the line? I was like, what? And I look up the line, like zigzags, and it goes all the way back to the back of the store. I was like, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't need this this bad. That's fine. Of course, I needed it, but I convinced myself, I don't need it that bad. I'm not standing in that line. So I put it back, and we drove home. And I was thinking to myself, Man, I should have stashed it like in the shoe department or something so I could go back and get it after Christmas. But, you know, that's not really right, right? So, of course, I couldn't stop thinking about this cute little penguin. So a few days later, I, we ended up going back to TJ Maxx. And luckily, there was almost no line. There was maybe, I don't know, four or five people in line. And so I picked up my cute little penguin and I said, you know, I'm just going to go look over here where they have other things like this and see if there's something else that I want to get. And that is when I saw this aisle and I just went, what? <laughs> I'm like, leave me here. I'll just be here for a few minutes. I, I need to look at this aisle. So I didn't know, of course, that I was going to find this aisle. I didn't think that I was going to be looking at organizing containers because if I do go, say, to the container store or somewhere like that, Staples, and I have something in mind that I need to store, like a certain size uh, post-it pad or or the, the Stampin' Up! embellishments or dimensionals or a stamp set, I bring those things with me when I go shopping at a place like Container Store. And I have a little tote bag and I have like one of everything with me because then I can put it into different containers and then I would know if it fits. Well, 
I didn't know I was going to find this aisle. And so I wasn't really prepared. And my brain was just like, oh my goodness, this is so amazing, this aisle, right? So I just kind of start picking up things. And I thought, okay, I could use this for this, and I could use this for this. And then I thought, well, maybe I should just come back, you know, and bring my supplies. And I'm like, no, you know what? Just get the stuff. If it absolutely doesn't work, I can return it. Well, turns out everything I got, which really was only three basic things, fit perfectly for everything that I, I wanted. So that's what I'm going to show you because they're in this picture. And I wanted to show you what I got because I know if they're helpful to me, they might be helpful to you in storing and organizing some of your crafting essentials. So let me show you the first thing that I was so excited to find. It's this little stack of, they're square, they're like three inch square, little plastic bins. And what I love to use these for, as you can see right behind me, there is my die cutting area where I have all my dies, my embossing folders, and my stamp and cut and emboss. And I put these over there so that as I'm die cutting things, I can drop them into little bins. So let me show you. I was using the new citrus, sweet citrus, I think it's called bundle. So look, so I have all the little flowers in one. This is as I'm die cutting, I'm putting them in. I have the leaves, I have all my limes, I have my lemons, I have my oranges, and I have my grapefruit. And as I'm die cutting, I'm just dropping them in the appropriate little container. And then I just turn around, it's a very small space in here, and then I just put them here on my desk and I can start crafting and creating. So these are amazing. They're perfect little size. I love these so much. I had previously purchased these at the container store. They're just a little bit bigger, not quite twice the size, but sometimes your dies are a little bigger. You need something a little bit larger. So this, this size then is good for that. These were from container store. If you are looking for the, like the exact name or the model number or whatever of these products today, I already have it on my blog. I have set up the blog post where I wrote, like this is from Heritage Living Set of Six Multipurpose Organizers. I wrote all that out for you so that you can find those if you have a TJ Maxx. Um, this was only $5.99 for the six of these. You can't beat that, right? And if, I wrote this down, if you don't have TJ Maxx, there were similar places that lots of people commented when I posted this picture. So let me read those suggestions to you. People, uh, now this is in the US, I'm not sure exactly about worldwide, but anyway, in the US, also Home Goods, At Home, Container Store, Marshalls, and Ross. Those were all suggestions that people said that they also found things like this or an aisle like this at TJ Maxx. So you might try those places if you uh, don't have a TJ Maxx. Uh, oh, somebody, Pat does not have volume. I'm uh, assuming the rest of you can, can hear because nobody else has said that. I'm sorry, Pat. Um, Uh, TJ Maxx is the same in UK. Oh, awesome. Okay, thank you, Louise. Let's see. What is your question? When can when can I get similar wallets like the one you have for your embellishments? Well, I have that on my blog today. I'm going to go over that in just a minute. They're on Amazon. They're from Avery. So if you, when we're done, don't go now. Don't leave now. But when we're done, if you hop over to my blog, pattystamps.com, P-A-T-T-Y, stamps.com, uh, you will find all these links and I'll show you all this in a minute, but it's there. It's already there today. If you want to go look at that, let me just see if there were any other questions. Okay. I don't see questions. I'll tell you what. Um, oh, good. Everybody's saying loud and clear. Thank you. Thank you for um, confirming that. When we're done, I'm going to ask for questions. So if you miss some, or excuse me, if I miss something that you have commented on, I'll catch up with you at the end. But hopefully 
it between what I'm saying and if you hop over to my blog when we're done, you'll find all of the info. And oh, thank you, Tammy just posted the link that goes right to my blog post from today. Thank you, Tammy. So anyway, this was number one. And speaking of Tammy, some of you know that I call Tammy my die cutting fairy and she just lives a couple of miles from me. It's so convenient. And I usually either buy an extra set of dies for her or I give her my set of dies and she does die cutting for me a lot of time. And so I bought her a little set of these because they're just so amazing to have as you are die cutting lots of things. So that was the first thing I found. And by the way, I did make a whole stack of really cute cards with that citrus bundle. I will be showing these soon. So stay tuned if that's something that you're interested in seeing. So let's see, the second thing I wanna show you, I have always wanted a container that will hold my stamp sets. Let me just lift this up and show you. So look. So it would hold, this holds about 20 or 21 stamp sets. And look, there's no extra wasted space. It is the absolute perfect size. And I did stick one of the die um, cards back here just to show you that those also fit, the ones that I use. And I've always wanted something that I could just put like either all my new sets, maybe it's retiring sets, maybe it's something I'm taking to an event or something, but I wanted something that would just perfectly hold all my stamp sets. Not, well, not, I mean, there's more up there, but you know what I mean? Like perfectly holds the container from Stampin' Up! of our stamp sets. And so I found them. And again, there are pictures and information on my blog today, so you don't have to worry about writing any of this down. And I know it's backwards. That's why I've got it on my blog today. But it's by Kitchen Spaces, and it's called a Large Bin Refrigerator Organizer. And this, like I said, just happens to be like completely 100% perfect size to hold stamp sets. And since I didn't have stamp sets with me, I took a chance. I was like, you know, I really think this looks like it'll work. And I was so happy that I got these. So that was the second thing that I just was elated about finding. Um, yeah, Tammy, they're, they're awesome. Yep, bundles too. So speaking of that, one thing that sometimes I do when I have a new catalog and I have new product is that I will take the new set of dies and I will stick it right next to the new stamp set that it goes with. So I would have the stamp set dies, stamp set dies, stamp set dies. And that will help me if I keep these handy right at my desk. You heard me say I like to have stuff out, right? If I keep these right at my desk, I have that bundle right together. I can stick it right here, keep it here. Once I've used it a bit, then I can put it away either on the shelf in front of me or on the shelves up there behind me. But I like having it right here so I don't forget to use it. So that's also another kind of related tip to that. So let me show you the third thing that I found that I was super happy about. And I've, I've shown this idea many, many, many times before. Can you lay the bin on its side? Let's look and see. Yeah. So let me see, let me just make sure if the stamp sets would fall out. So hang on a sec. Let's check and see. Oh, you know what? Okay, let me, I'm gonna put it here. I'll just sort of tip this down a little bit. So can you see that on its side? So it actually just stands up, it stays perfectly and it's tilted just enough that they're not falling forward. So yes, what, who said that? That was such a great idea. Jennifer Helding, thank you. That is a brilliant idea because you, oh my gosh, that's even better. You can just have it right there in front of you like that. Oh, I love that idea. Thank you for suggesting that. That's brilliant. That is just perfect. Yay. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, great. You're right. It is great. That is a great idea. That's perfect. I love that idea. 
Okay, so back to the third idea. This is something that I have shown you many times in many of my videos, and it's how I organize my Stampin' Up! embellishment packets. But there was one thing that I disliked about every single container that I had used to do this. And that was that I wanted it to hold all my embellishments and my little supply of adhesives that I use all the time, like my dimensionals, mini dimensionals, my foam sheets, and my tear and tape. I really, really, really would love for it to be all in one, and I found it. So, here is what I found. And I'll give you the info in just a sec. But you can see that it has dividers. And so I have all of my Stampin' Up! embellishments, and I'll show you those packets in just a sec. And then right in the front, my dimensionals, my foam sheets, and my rolls of tear and tape, all in one. And this was only $9.99. Can you even beat that deal? It's And it's just beautiful, right? Clear and beautiful. So let me give you the info because I didn't think this had a label on it. And so this is not on my blog yet, but I will update my post. This is the, it's, I think it's, well, I don't even know how to say it. It's B-I-N-O. Is it Bino or let's say Bino because Bino sounds weird. But anyway, it's called the Trilogy. I know it's backwards, but I just want to show you what the label looks like. And I will put that on my blog post. Give me a few minutes when we're done and I will update the post. But it's called the Trilogy Multipurpose Organizer Three Compartments Bed, Bath, Kitchen, Office Storage. Well, it doesn't say craft room, but that's where mine is. <laughs> So that's what the tag looks like inside it. And then, uh, like I said, it's only $9.99. But let's look at, I wanna, just want to show you, because this always gets uh, lots of attention, lots of questions, how I store my embellishments. I've been doing it this way for, I don't know, almost maybe two years. And it was thanks to Jason Laux in my, on my Love to Stamp group, my demonstrator team. He turned me on to this idea. These are Avery vinyl envelopes, four by six. You can find them on Amazon. And if you see this picture with the passport, you know you've selected the right thing. There's probably other brands, I, I mean, I would guess, but these are the perfect size and they're totally reusable. And so I use my brother P-Touch and I just stick a label on there because I need larger print than like when you, let me get these out and I'll show you. When Stampin' Up! prints it on here, those words are not big enough for my elderly eyeballs. So I print it larger with my Brother P-Touch labeler and I stick it on the envelope. And the great thing is, is that you can just peel this off and you can stick a new label on it if you no longer use these or they retire or whatever, and you can just reuse it. So you don't have to buy a lot of these, but maybe just a couple packs would hold all of your embellishments. And so, you know, you have your butterflies and the flowers and all, just all, all the embellishments are all organized. And I just love it. I get kind of upset when something sticks out the top, but I mean, what are you going to do? I know, first world problems, but you know. So I just stick this back in the back, and that way it sticks up tall. And wait, I was going to tell you something else about this. Oh, I know. <laughs> and then this one is new, and this is too big, so it doesn't fit. This is the only one that doesn't fit, but everything else in the Stampin' Up! catalog fits. So, oh well. just I just have it, like, next to it. <laughs> so... I just love this thing because now I have enough room for all those embellishments and my adhesives and it's all right in front of me. If you saw my video, gosh, was it maybe three months ago or so where I showed you the redo of my desk here and I showed you just all those things that I like to have right out in front of me and it's just perfect and um, it, it's just how I craft. 